Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Building. Today we're reviewing D Shell 3, which was a cross shaped building that I turned into a pool. Come on, check it out and enjoy. Alright, so we're here checking out the build that I did for D's Shell 3. Um, originally, it was a cross building that um, had the idea to turn into a pool. Uh, part of the rules were that you could not, uh, couldn't even add a basement. So, um, on the bottom of the cross, there was a, a, a square box. And I used that box to create the pool. So, as you're looking at it from the ground, you're actually looking at the pool. Um, one of the benefits of, or one of the reasons I was able to do this um, was partially because of the updates that have recently come out. So as I'm going through the build, I've decided that each of the four sides of the uh, cross are going to be a different theme. Um, the first one I'm working on is obviously the bathrooms and showers. This is also going to be my entrance. Um, across from that, I'm putting together some uh, activities for more geared towards adults, uh, such as the chess sets, um, putting a, a, a table so you can sit there, have a snack, whatever. All right. Over in this empty section, we are building a laundry. Um, figure this could be where the employees uh, will actually wash fold and store towels. Um, that way we can provide towels to patrons as they come. Um, lots and lots of towels will go here. It is a pool. You're going to need a lot of towels, right? So we go through, um, set up all of the different towel racks, uh, tables for folding towels, throw some towels on there, you know, kind of just trying to make it believable, right? Um, throw some dirty clothes on the floor. They miss the hamper. Uh, primarily, it's going to be for towels, but, you know, this way it just represents. Um, big sliding doors uh, so that we can see what's going in. Now, in this section, we can see the uh, the lawn chairs to lay on, but I also put in some uh, diving uh, rocks so that you can climb up and jump into the pool, um, do, you know, flips, belly flops, uh, cannonballs, whatever. Uh, so now we're looking at uh, decorating a little bit, fixing our lighting, uh, fixing you know, our wallpapers, everything else. I was trying to go with a really easy feel. Um, I want it to be you know, relaxing and also don't want it to necessarily look like we're uh, inside of a building. Uh, that's why we use this wallpaper. It's reminiscent of blue, uh, blue skies with a little bit of clouds. Um, Throw my trademark cattle lilies in, decorate the uh, laundry room, and we're already pretty close. Um, I did go ahead and look at possibly using uh, stairs, but they just don't quite work right. Um, I don't, kept running into issues with the uh, with the ladders as well. Uh, so this is me trying to use the, uh, the the stairs, and because of the wall, I couldn't do it. Uh, so we threw ladders in, and I figured, you know, if there's a bunch of people coming in and out, um, you don't want to have to wait for anybody, right? So we put two ladders in, one for going up, one for coming back down. Um, you know, and from here, just go through, do some, a little bit of clutter, a little bit of uh, tidiness, a little bit of, you know, extra stuff uh, sitting here and there. Uh, I did think that this uh, underground water, or I'm sorry, underwater photo uh, being underwater was you know, just comical. Uh, again, just decorating around, uh, you know, little things that I think just look good. Um, part of what I'm really happy with this build about, though, is actually the roof. Um, it took me a few tries to get the roof the way that I really liked it. And I usually don't mess with roofs a whole lot. Um, so I'm playing with a bunch of different options on the style of roof. Um, the tile on the roof, I kind of really like the idea of the glass. However, um, it just wasn't quite working right. Uh, so we you know, reorder, re reorganize, um, change things about, just trying to figure out the best way to uh, really kind of capture this pool. Uh, so what we ended up going with, uh, as you can see here, is we actually went with the dome right over the middle. 
uh, that dome has a glass uh, roof so that you can see outside. Um, next, we take these, uh, we take the, the roofs, shrink, the, shrink everything down um, so that the uh, tiles don't overhang, uh, and just copy that on all the four, uh, four pieces of the, of the cross, right? Um, the sunbathing area, uh, make that gla uh, glass. Everything else we made into uh, straw huts. Uh, that way it's a little bit like you're on the beach and hanging out. Um, you're protected from the elements by, you know, the, str the straw thatching on the roof. Uh, and then over in the swimming area, you can just sit back and enjoy the sun rays still coming down. Uh, any good pool is going to have uh, a bunch of cars already parked there because it's going to have visitors. So we set up the parking lot um, and I went ahead and put some... Uh, lines in there actually um, to uh, lots of trial and error and I'm really not totally happy with it um, but you know it's it's there it at least delineates the cars uh, so I just had fun with it uh, as you can see I did set the lot type to pool uh, if for some reason you pull it out of the gallery and it's not set to pool make sure you fix that one thing uh, and that's pretty much it uh, so we're going to finish out these lines, uh, double check everything, and see uh, if there's anything I'm missing, anything that we need to add. Uh, and all of these conversations do go on on my Twitch stream while I'm recording. This is D-Shelf Story, so we leave that there. Rain and snow giving you the blues. Climb the ladder. And enter the and enter Splashy Central, where you can flip, flop, or dive into the steamed, bubbling pool. Towels are provided. Um, and then, let's see. Towels are provided. Uh, oh, that's last. Play some chess. Or enter the belly flop competition. Either way, you can't go wrong. Towels are provided. So stop in and have fun. Period. The end. This is not the shell three. Damn it. This is splashy central. Enter. And upload. As I'm doing this final shell tour, I am actually going to leave it playing running live um, so that uh, we can. Enjoy the people enjoying the facility. Welcome to Splashy Central. Splashy Central is set aside so that you can enjoy the pool atmosphere any time of the year. Whether it's stormy or snowy, it doesn't matter. This pool is heated with the hot springs, the steams coming up through the pool. There's bubbles coming up through the pool so that you can maximize your enjoyment as you can Relax, hang out, you can play chess, or you can jump off the structures to do belly flops, swan dives, back flips, whatever the case may be. Board, set up a, a belly flop competition and see how well you can do. So as you can see, this is a popular, popular place with lots of cars already in the parking. The not-so-secret entrance is underneath the main structure where you have to climb up the ladders to get in. Don't worry, there are two ladders so that you can go up one while somebody else is coming down the other, or you're not stuck up there while somebody's coming up waiting for them when you're trying to leave. So as we climb the ladder, we find that we're actually inside of the bathroom area. 
where you've got two shower stalls that are set up so that you can wash off any dirt that you may have on you before or after the pool. Both shower stalls are set up exactly the same and right beside the entrance, so you don't have to worry about anything else. You can show up, change your clothes, hop in a quick shower, and get right out to the fun. Should you have to use the bathroom? Those are readily available with individual bathroom stalls. There are four total bathroom stalls, so you shouldn't have to wait for long if you ever have to wait at all. Two sinks make washing your hands very easy, and don't worry, there are no mirrors, so that you don't have to check your makeup as you're in the pool, it's gonna run. Nice big pool, plenty of room for everybody. Hampers to throw your towel so that the on-site staff can wash the laundry and provide you with clean, fresh towels all the time. So inside the pool, as we mentioned, there are bubbles coming out. There is steam coming out so that you can enjoy yourself, enjoy the heat. And just for an added bit of fun, there's the underwater picture underwater. Enter the ladder on this side and you will find a table that you can sit, relax, have a picnic lunch. That's okay. Just hand it across the pool, sit down, enjoy your meal. Care for a game of chess? We got that too. For the more adventurous sort, come over on this side. Other than laying back and relaxing on the pool chairs with the glass ceilings, both above the pool and above the lounge area, you can climb up and jump straight into the water. Again, this is our laundry area. This is primarily for the employees so that they can wash and dry the towels, buy them for you for your ease of use. Please, when you're finished with your towels, throw them into the hamper and not in a pile on the floor as it will just make it easier for the staff to clean up. So that's it for our Splashy Central. Do appreciate you checking out the YouTube video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Give me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you want to download it, my gallery is Wolf Gaming IT. Links are down in the description below. Do appreciate you checking out. That's it for our newest pool that we built. Uh, it's, I think that's the second pool that I've actually built uh, as a lot type. Uh, but I've included pools in a few of my builds so far. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can see every time I post a new video. Planning to post the shells after they are toured by the uh, people who shell that they are for. Uh, but I also have uh, Let's Plays that come out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'll include a Let's Play for 100 Baby Daddy and for Strangerville. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.